All right, good morning everybody. This is Andrea with Fitness Banjo and come along with me as I do my run walk for the day. I am currently in Florida and it is 63 degrees. So for me, that's a little chilly, but we're heading back home to St. Louis, which in the Midwest, it's a bit chillier. So let's talk about how we're gonna have to dress in the next week. So come along with me. So I haven't run in over a week, so we'll see how this goes. 63 and the sun is out. This is gonna be my last warm run as we head to the 50s, 40s, and 30s. First walking break after going 0.66. Not bad for not doing this for a while. Slow and steady. Just don't wanna burn out or go out too hard and then I feel like I fail, so walking breaks at it. One mile, 14 minutes, 32 seconds, even with a little walking break. So I took another little walking break at 1.22. The spot that I typically stop on my turnaround, I think sometimes for habit, I stop. But today I pushed myself through and went a little further. So when you don't think you can do it, just go a little further. I slowed my pace down a bit, just so I could. So try not to get into a habit of stopping where you stopped the last time, just go a little further. Mile two, 15, 43, shocker, slower than the first, took more walk breaks. That's my habit I have to break. Sometimes I walk when I don't need to. So I guess it's just a process of having confidence that I can do more. Okay, so I got a little over two miles in for today. I actually felt pretty good. So this is going to be my last run here in Florida in the warmish type weather. Uh, so I've been doing research on how to properly dress for winter. So just remember when you go running in the cold, dress appropriately. So you may have to wear uh, clothes like it's maybe 10 or 15 degrees warmer outside because your body is going to heat up and even though you're cold when you start, you're going to warm up quickly. Uh, also remember to start slowly. Watch for any snow, ice patches, anything like that. And hydration. Everybody thinks that you just have to hydrate when it's warm weather, but you can still get dehydrated when you're running in the cold. So uh, those are the three tops for me. So I'm sure I'm gonna learn more along the way, but that's all for now. So if you're still with me, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, leave any comments and uh, how you prepare for your winter runs. And I'll see you on the next run. Are you taking your fish for a walk? <laughs> or are you gonna fight your brother with a fish? Woo. Aww. Walk time. Walk time.